All right, boys and girls, it's time to play Diffusion or Osmosis. You decide. How will the cell reach equilibrium? You all know the rules. Diffusion is plan A for the cell, where the molecules themselves move from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration, so the cell will be in equilibrium. Or maybe the cell will do plan B, which is osmosis, where the particles cannot move through the cell membrane, so the water will move instead. As a quick refresher, so on, please remind me what kind of molecules can move through the cell membrane. That's right, small molecules can move through the cell membrane. So you have to ask yourself, are the molecules small or are they much, much less than small? Let us begin. Here's your situation. You tell me diffusion or osmosis. You will hold up a D for diffusion or an O for osmosis. Did that look like a B? Maybe it should be left hand karate chop. Now it's a D. D for diffusion or O for osmosis. So here's your first scenario. Animal cells floating in a solution of salt water. What will happen? Diffusion or osmosis? That's right, it's going to be osmosis because salt cannot go through the cell membrane. Next scenario, plant cell floating in solution of salt water. What will it be? Diffusion or osmosis? Let's see those hands. Oh, it's osmosis because plant and animal cells have the same kind of cell membrane. And salt still can't go through, so we've got to do plan B to get to equilibrium. All right, all right, here we go. Plant cell floating in solution of distilled water. That's right, it's osmosis. There is nothing in distilled water but water. What could possibly diffuse through? It can't be anything. It's osmosis. Next scenario. Plant cells in a solution of small nonpolar molecules. What's going to happen? That's right, that one is diffusion. Small molecules can permeate through the cell membrane, so no need for plan B when plan A works out just great. That's why it's plan A. It's the first thing you try. Animal cells in a solution of small nonpolar molecules. What do you say? Correct them under its diffusion. Just like the small molecules can go through the plant cell, they can also go through the animal cell because they all have the same eukaryotic cell membrane. Next scenario. Cell is in a solution of larger polar molecules. What do you say? That's right, it's osmosis. Right? Large molecules cannot go through the cell membrane so osmosis happens to regulate the concentrations and get to equilibrium instead right, we went to the store we bought super growth protein and we put it in a solution for the cells to be in and what's going to happen to fusion or osmosis oh it's osmosis wait what large super growth protein that seems like it'd be good for the plant oh snap you guys it's a large molecule it can't go through the cell membrane so it must be osmosis all right, this scenario, here we go. Cell is in a solution of very small molecules. What's going to happen? Diffusion or osmosis? That's right, it's diffusion because these molecules are very small. All right, the cell here on this side of the board. Let's draw some arrows. Which way the molecule is going to go? Your options are into the cell, out of the cell. So raise your hand. Tell me. That's right, they're going to go into the cell to even out that concentration. Into the cell. High, low. Hi, low. That's the way the molecules go. Chapped up voice. All right, look at this cell over here in this solution. Different cell, different solution. Which way the molecule is going to go? Into the cell, out of the cell. Raise your hand. Tell me. That's right. They're going to go out of the cell because they're still moving. Hi, low. Hi, low. That's the way the molecules go. Passive transport. Right to even out the concentration. Okay, now what? Now what? These cells are in very large molecules. If these dots are very large molecules, diffusion or osmosis. What's up now? Oh, it's osmosis because large molecules can not go through the membrane. All right, this one over here. This one over here. Which way are the molecules going to go? If it's water moving, which way are they going to go? Someone tell me. 
Oh, that's right. This is a hypertonic solution. So water is going to be leaving the cell, right? Water leaves the cell in the hypertonic solution. Higher concentration out here. So the water is going to leave the cell to try to dilute the solution down. This one over here, though. This one over here. Which way are the molecules of water going to go? Into the cell? Out of the cell? What do you say? That's right. They're going to go in to the cell because it's a hypotonic solution. So your higher concentration is here on the inside of the cell, so the water needs to move along its concentration gradient to level that out. Water is going from high concentration of water to low concentration of water, so water is following its concentration gradient. Here's a song to remember for this one. Hypo, right, because hypotonic solution. Hypo concentration below the cell swells like a hippo. Osmosis. Yeah, yeah, I thought you guys would like that.